Okay, we're going to look at solving polynomial equations to find an unknown coefficient. Quite straightforward, let's get straight into the example. If x plus 3 is a factor of 2x to the power of 4 plus 6x cubed plus px squared plus 4x minus 15, find the value of p. Okay, so first of all, x plus 3 is a factor, that means minus 3 goes up at the side. Let's get the coefficients in. Let's check, is there any 0 coefficients? There's not, but definitely worth checking. 2, 6, p, 4 and minus 15. Drop the 2 down. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. 0 times minus 3 is 0. p plus 0 is p. p times minus 3 is minus 3p. 4 minus 3p. That's just 4 minus 3p. 4 minus 3 times minus 3. Okay, just take your time. So 4 times minus 3 then is minus 12. And minus 3p times minus 3 is plus 9p. Okay, I've then got minus 12 plus 9p minus 15, so it's going to be minus 27 plus 9p is equal to 0. Now, how do I know it's equal to 0? Well, because the thing's a factor. Okay, so minus 27 plus 9p is equal to 0. 9p then is equal to 27, and p is equal to 3. Okay, let's just summarise this one again. I'm told that x plus 3 is a factor, minus 3 gets up to the side, coefficients of 2, 6, p, 4, minus 15, and the target is to find the value of p, drop the 2 down, 2 times minus 3, minus 6, minus 6 plus 6, 0, 0 times minus 3 is 0, p plus 0 is p, p times minus 3 is minus 3p, I've then got minus 3p plus 4, and I've written that's 4 minus 3p, same thing. Multiply that with minus 3. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Minus 3p times minus 3 is plus 9p. I've then got minus 12 and minus 15, which is minus 27, and my 9p. Now that drops down there. Now what else do I know? If it's a factor, the remainder must be 0. So that must be equal to 0. It's just a simple equation then. Bring that over to change its sign. p is equal to 3. Let's try an example 2. Okay, so example 2. Find the values of A and B if x minus 2 and x plus 4 are factors of x to the power 4 plus ax cubed minus x squared plus bx minus 8. Okay, so first of all, x minus 2 is a factor, so that's 2 goes up at the side. Okay, my coefficients then. 1, a, minus 1, b, minus a. Drop the 1 down, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 plus a, a plus 2. A plus 2 times 2, take your time, 2a plus 4. 2a plus 4 minus 1, 2a plus 3, 2a plus 3 times 2, 4a plus 6, 4a plus 6 plus b. That's just 4a plus 6 plus b, nothing more to do there. Multiply we'll that by 2 and it's going to be 8a plus 12 plus 2b. 8a plus 12 plus 2b minus 8, that's going to be 8a plus 4 plus 2b is equal to 0. Why equal to 0? Because it's a factor. Okay, so that's me taking care of that bit. Now the question then says that x plus 4 will also generate a factor, so let's do that. So x plus 4, what number goes up at the side this time? Minus 4. Okay, coefficients again. 1a minus 1 b 
minus 8. Drop the 1 down. 1 times minus 4, minus 4. A minus 4, A minus 4. A minus 4 times minus 4. Minus 4A plus 16. Minus 4A plus 16 minus 1. Minus 4A plus 15. Minus 4A plus 15 times minus 4. Well, minus 4 times A times minus 4 is 16A. 15 times minus 4 is minus 60. 16 a minus 60 plus b, so that's 16a plus b minus 60. Multiply that by minus 4 to your time. Minus 64a minus 4b minus 60 times minus 4 is plus 240. And then it's minus 64a minus 4b plus 240 minus 8, so that's going to be minus 64a minus 4b plus 232. Zero. Okay, I'm now asked to solve for A and B, two unknowns, two equations that come up in regard solutions as well. That's a straightforward decision to make. That is a simultaneous equations question. So we've got AA plus 2B plus 4 is equal to zero. Okay, so that's equation one. And then I've got minus 64A minus 4b plus 232 is equal to 0 equation 2 ok so I'm going to get rid of b's here I'm going to multiply the top equation by 2 ok so that's going to give me 16a plus 4b plus 8 equals 0 new equation called equation 3 the signs are different so I'm going to add the equations plus 3. Okay, so minus 64a plus 16a is minus 48a. You'll cancel out. 232 plus 8 is 240. That's equal to 0. And the over minus 48a is equal to minus 240. a is equal to minus 240 divided by minus 48. And then the two negatives cancel out and 48 will find the 248, 5 times it equals 5. Okay, I'm now going to take that a equals 5 and sub it into one of the equations, doesn't matter which one, so I'm going to sub it into equation 1. Okay, so where I see a, I'm going to replace it with 5. 8 watts of 5 plus 2b plus 4 equals 0. 40 plus 2b plus 4 equals 0. 44 plus 2b equals 0. Bring that over. 2b is equal to minus 44. b is equal to minus 44 divided by 2. And b is equal to minus 22. Final answer. Okay, so you're going to try this one. x minus 1. So what numbers up at the side then? 1x plus 4. What numbers up at the side then? Minus 4. Our factors of 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus px plus q. So go through that routine, two synthetic divisions, two equations, simultaneous equations, solve p and q. We'll pick that up tomorrow.